Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss one of the very important tools used in ethical hacking. But before that I want to say that these all things which, which we are going to discuss in this video, they are only for information and educational purpose. And uh, uh, you should not be using these tools in any live environment uh, without, if, you if you don't have any permission. So I'll be using this lab in virtual environment and I'll be using one of the web link which, which we can use. So this is here first Nikto. So Nikto is an open source web server scanner or the website is scanner. So what happens here? So it, it is the scanner actually uh, performs or find out, tries to find out or scans these many these many potentially dangerous files or programs in a web server and this is this is something which i have taken from here this is the link for your reference so what happens when we uh, open our browser and we try to log in into some of our some of our web applications like for example our bank account so what happens we get connected with the web server using some internet connections and in this web server there is of course uh, web server software, we have our HTML code. So they can have weaknesses there. They can have vulnerability and to find out those vulnerability because some hackers can attack it. So before that, actually we try to find out if there is some weakness there. So to find out that weakness, we have this Nikto that is open source. You can use free of cost and that's a web server scanner. So now in this way, we can actually find out the server or software misconfiguration here, which may be reason of the vulnerability in that web server. And we can find out some outdated server or programs which are installed in that web server. And uh, we can also find out some version specific problems uh, on over 270 servers. So this is, this is the current data but I have, but which I have taken from this link. So with this, uh, let's move to uh, the virtual environment, which I have created in VMware. So I have this uh, machine. So for, for this machine, for example, for scanning machine, I have Kali Linux. And for this um, web server, I have taken, I have downloaded a virtual machine from OWASP. So that is OWASP B uh, W A OWASP broken web application. And I have put the link for downloading for you that you can use in your VMware. So I'll demonstrate this idea in VMware. And in addition to that, I want to mention that this Nikto can be used in Windows. We should have Perl installed and we can also use it in Mac operating system as well, in, as well as in Linux. So I'll be using Linux operating system to demonstrate the use of Nikto. So let's move to uh, the uh, VMware. So here is my VMware. And you can see to demonstrate this idea, I have this Kali Linux machine. So I need to log in into this Kali machine, and uh, and then we also have broken machine. So Wasp broken web application. So this is the uh, broken machine. Uh, I can say this is the this is the virtual machine which I have downloaded to demonstrate the idea of Nikto. So there is a web server here. And with, with some broken or some applications which are already weak for learning purpose. So you can see this is the link I'll put in the description section. You can download the same virtual machine to be used in VMware from here's this. So you can see the open web application security project is this was broken web application project, a collection of vulnerable web application that is distributed on a virtual machine that we can use for our learning purpose. Okay, so now with this, let's go to our terminal. So I'm going to minimize it. Just I wanted to show that from where I have downloaded this web server uh, for demonstration. Let's say we are going to our terminal in Kali Linux uh, machine. And let's say I'm going to clear it maybe just uh, here. And now I want to show you that how we can use it. So first of all, if you want to display uh, the help I found to display the all, all of the commands which we can use in with Nikto. So for that, we can write Nikto and also maybe N I K P M Nikto, and then we can and dash, and then we can have just dash for help. So in this way, we will be able to find out or we will be displayed the help options. So with help, 
we can find out that these are some different options which we can use with Nikto comma. They can see config, use this config file, display, db check, format. So that will, in the output file, we can use any format. So yes, these are some of the uh, uh, options which we can use with Nikto. So with this, with this, uh, we can have get further information like you can see update. So update database and plugin from CIRT.net and what is the version we can find out the version as well for this Nikto. So this is how we can get help for Nikto and now the important part, for example, we want to scan our web server. So in our case, our web server is, let's say our web, web server is this uh, WASP B, um, BWA, broken web application. So uh, in virtual environment, I'm using this. So to scan it, first I need to find out the IP address of this virtual machine. And you can see the IP address for this broken machine is this here. That's 192.168.197.142. So I'm going here and first I'm going to verify that I'm able to reach that virtual machine. So for that, I need to have IP address for that. And that was 192.168. So 192.168.197.142. Enter. So you can see we are we we can reach that virtual machine that is actually a web server. And now to use Nikto, we just have to run Nikto and then we have to say uh, specify the host. So with uh, host, that's the host means the web server. And for the web server, I'm going to uh, give here the IP address. So that is 192.168.197 and uh, dot uh, 142 yes so i specified the host and uh, i use nikto so with this nikto will start a scanning web server which is available on this ip address so that's the ip address of that web server and also i can specify uh, the port number so by default it will use port number 80 so let's press enter to get the result so now you can see after this command, you can see it's, it's, it's scanning web server. So in our virtual environment, I'm using this web server. That is this one, WASP, broken web application. It's, it's a scanning. And yes, I, I should also show you that uh, what we have on this web application or this WASP broken web application. It means there should be some website. So for that, maybe we can use IP address of this broken machine. That is 192.168.197.142. I hope we uh, we have not made any made any mistake in this IP address. Yes, the same and press enter. And you can see as soon as we type this IP address in, in this URL, we have this website. So it means this is the website which is which is running on this was broken web application. So this on this web server this is the website which is running and we are trying to find out weaknesses in this uh, in this uh, website and the web server so let's go back to see the results if we got result here so let's click on this uh, uh, terminal so now you can see we have got some results here and uh, let's say here we have start from here so you can see there, this first of all, it shows the Nikto version, what version we are using, that the target IP address, target host name, and the port number. As I mentioned before, that by default port, which is used by Nikto is port number 80. And this also shows the timing when I started this. And then this is the detail of scanning results. So in this information, so in these lines, we have the information about the weaknesses which are there in the, in the web server, in this, and this open in this sorry in wasp broken web application server in that so here maybe you can see this is the x cross site scripting and protection header is not defined this header can hint to the user agent to protect against some form of cross site scripting so that is one of the way we can exploit and this web website is uh, vulnerable to this attack and then, then you can see it also shows many other vulnerabilities. For example, here you can see, and this is there, this OSVDB. So that is open source vulnerable database, vulnerability database. So
in this database with this code we can find out further information about these weaknesses so osbdb and we copy it and we can copy paste it in our browser so copy selection let's go here and if we paste the same thing here in google it will show us further information about this weakness and then we can find out how we can exploit it or further information about this weakness we can google it so some hints are given here in the result and uh, then there are other weaknesses so there are other weaknesses which can find out maybe google if that what kind of weaknesses are there and how we can maybe exploit so and how maybe how we can come up with some strategies to mitigate those so this depends and with this can this uh, nicto has given a lot of results now in addition to that nicto has yeah uh, has the capability that we can also use some url so i just showed you the ip address but we can also have we can also use uh, urls but again I'm, I'm i'm warning you that you should not be using any live website i'm using here a website which is which can be used for for scanning for example i'm using this one here this is scanme.nmap.org you can see here this is the website where they say that we set up this machine to help folks learn about nmap and also to test and make sure that nmap installation is correct and you can also use for other port scanners so i'm using this link for learning purpose so i'm just going to copy this link this is the url copy i'm going to my uh, in this terminal and now we have to use this command that's nicto and then minus or minus host and this time instead of ip address i'm going to give this url so that is http and uh, scanme.nmap.org and press enter and you can see it has started scanning that uh, url that live website here so this is this website allows us to use it for learning purpose otherwise other websites we should not be using we we should have a specific permission on that so it may take some time to find out all the vulnerabilities available on this uh, website and uh, meanwhile maybe i can open a, a new terminal here just click there and in this terminal let's say we want to find out some plugins so plugins are something which adds in the functionality of Nectar. maybe it, they expand its, its operation something more so to find out the list of plugins available in Nectar, we have this command that is Nectar, and then we have uh, hyphen list and then we have plugins p-r-u-g-i-n-s plugins so with this we can see all the plugins available in this Nectar. So maybe we, yes, you can see here we got plugins, uh, information about plugins which actually extend the functionality of this Nikto. And there are a lot of plugins. Shellshock, Docker registry, I mean, Shellshock, sorry. And uh, either, are, for example, what, what's the job of this? So it says they look for the best Shellshock vulnerability and here plugin SSL, SSL and cert check, perform checks on SSL certificates. So these are specific one. They are, they are there to extend its functionalities it's here. So we can find out information about these all uh, plugins, which will be helpful for us. And uh, then says so the plugin, plugin paths. So path search, look at the link paths to help populate variables. And then this is also the name who has written this one and so yes so these are the plugins which we can use different uh, for plugins for example plugin robots this checks whether there is anything within the robots.txt file and analyze for example robots.txt file is used to um, maybe hold information about uh, crawlers web crawlers so they, they so with this we can get further information on uh, about robotics.txt for example so you can go through these all plugins uh, to find out which plugins can be helpful for you in a specific uh, case and here it says that plugin tests so this is plugin test which 
uh, actually NICTO uses to test host with the standard NICTO tests. It means there will be some standard NICTO test and your web server will be checked against the, those uh, tests. So, so there will be some kind of examination or they will be, they'll be checking our web server against these tests which they already have. Let's use maybe this, this, uh, this um, plugin and uh, to use that plugin we just have to say nicto and uh, then hyphen plugins plugins and then we have to give the name of this plugin so we we saw that uh, we are using test plugin here so i'm writing test and then we have to specify our host so what is our host uh, our host is so oh, sorry hyphen host and then 192.168.197.1 42 this is our IP address which we'll be using here and uh, that's it and that's it and then we enter press enter so now this will like in yeah so I made sorry mistake here in my spelling mistake sorry for that I have to change it plug so that is plug ins and test yeah so it will run some standard tests against the web server and as a result of those tests is it will find out if there are some weaknesses in in our web server which is actually wasp broken web application which i'm using as a virtual machine okay so this is also trying to scan it it will take some time to give us some results so that is when we are using some specific plugins and let's see the other uh, terminal where we run this one yes this one this is also running where we started scanning this uh, website yeah you can see and you see here also shows that these are some of the methods http options which are allowed on this website scanme.nmap.org so this is still scanning and uh, yes and this one plugins this is also taking some time to scan it it will be scanning everything on this web server okay so they they, they uh, keep scanning and meanwhile you can see this is also showing this osvdb so we can copy and paste this in google to find out further information and this also shows that this is something test this might be interesting it is giving some hint that this is something which we should be exploring for for maybe attacking or we found some vulnerability there and uh, then yes this is there and let's see here this is also scanning so we have two terminals where they are taking some time to scan our web server and uh, yes so this is something i wanted to show you in nikto so uh, it will take some time and uh, i want to show you something that if you want to say like if you want to save these all results in some file let's say in some output so that you can also do and for that we have a specific uh, command we'll be using the app. so for that to show this let's see i'm opening third terminal let's say here and i'm saying nicto nicto and say host on the scan some host the same web server so 192.168 dot 197.142 dot and this time I'm, to, I'm going to specify the port let's say i'm going to specify port number 80 but now say that please give me output as a file so i want to save this output somewhere so give me the output as a file like uh, i can my report dot html so we can have text as an output we can have xml we can have html so i'm using html so it means it will it will scan it and it will show us result in this file so i'm going to uh, i have also specified the port number as well this time as you can see here and uh, then we just press we need to press enter maybe space we need to press enter here and you can see it has started scanning this 
and this time this will be quicker so we are just maybe here on our web server here and we have also specified the port number but let it finish and uh, then after this we should be able to see the file saved on our on our hard disk okay so we are we are waiting for this uh, this to complete but you can see meanwhile there are many vulnerabilities are there are some hints to those vulnerabilities in these files and we can further explore it using google so he says this also shows that this directory indexing found this might be interesting directory indexing found so these are some of things which help us to find out further vulnerability and it also shows that uh, PHP my admin is for managing my SQL database so it means on this website we also have um, and on that web server we also have some websites which is being maintained by that okay so in this third terminal this these uh, results have been completed and we with this command have saved those results in this file that is my report.html and by default this file should be in our home directory so I can show you that results and um, maybe I can close it. I have remaining these two windows. You can see this is still, still scanning. So this is going to this website. And uh, this was another one. This has completed, you see. Yes, this has been completed. But for the website, it's still scanning. Maybe this depends on my internet speed. This may also depend on the response of the server uh, on the here. Okay, so it's scanning and I'm going to minimize it just I wanted to show you the file or the report we generated now so for this I'm going to click on this home directory and home I have this file you see here my report so this was my previous one so this is my report this is my report and you can see as I double click here this is the report generated uh, as a result of Nikto and you can see here we use this um, port 80 for this and this is the target IP address target host name this port number and this HTTP server what server is running the Apache server is running and then further information we have in the same way we have more weaknesses or vulnerability on those web server and that for this a report has been generated for us which we can read anytime okay so this is what I wanted to show you so I maybe I am not going to close it let's minimize it and close this let's see if this is completed this one but still uh, going on it may take some time but you can I mean you can see here so it may take some time but ultimately this result will end and you will have the results about the weaknesses or vulnerability available on that URL so it's running still and you can see some progress there but uh, to avoid uh, this video I mean this video will get too long so I want to stop it here you can do it like this it's, it may take some time and you'll have the final results but you can see here they show that these are the methods which we can use on this one this we all think I mentioned this before as well but okay so these are the vulnerabilities you can see these are vulnerabilities on this link okay so thank you thank you guys and uh, this was some discussion on Nikto that's very useful tool but I have one more thing I wanted to show you that there are some alternatives to this uh, Nikto as well so let me show that one let's see if we have here and uh, let's say yes up here so these are some alternatives to Nikto I wanted to mention that not only Nikto, but there are other uh, tools in the market which can be used for web server scanning. One is Wasp Zap, which we'll discuss in some of our, some of our video. So, and then we have Skipfish, and then we have Hackney. These are the alternative tools there. Let's go back if the results are finalized, but it's still taking time. Anyways, you can try it at your end anytime. So thank you guys. Thank you very much for your time and hope to see you in some other video.